Hey folks, my name is Ursi and uh, this is my little tour of my uh, Minecraft server. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff to talk about as far as an update's going. Uh, obviously, you can see the castle uh, bit that we had uh, been working on the last video that we had the Let's Play together going on. Yeah, there's a that's where the original mine was that went down. Uh, this is a second mine that was down there, and that's sealed. There's nothing down there worth anything now. We got maps. A. All sorts of other stuff. Uh, there was quite a bit of uh, alteration of the landscape here as well, just in order to make things work. Oh, hello. Die. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I got a little bit of a farm going out there for the uh, reeds or the sugar cane or whatever you want to call it. Hey, we got squids. Uh, this is a farm here. I built this, yeah. yeah I got to toot my own horn a little bit. Uh, just a little bit of storage. And down here we have a mushroom farm. All it really is is just a dark area. Place for the mushrooms to grow. A little hatch. I know that there are much better uh, setups for a mushroom farm, and there's all sorts of auto harvesting stuff and what have you, but I haven't uh, put any of that stuff in there. Uh, the world still is a bit basic, but uh, it's a lot more built up now than it was before. So let's, let's go over here, shall we? Yeah, I actually had to build out into the uh, uh, bay here a little bit when I was making the towers. Uh, do, do, do. The uh, glass rim on the outside here is uh, going to be an a uh, thing which is to keep the spiders off, so that's what that's for. Uh, this over here, all of these trees and such, this is Dark Knight 607's creation. Uh, I can make it to the fence in 3.1 seconds, can you? Yeah, he's talking about his, uh, his pet wolf. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing in there. But this is his little area. And I'm not really going to go too much in depth, but, uh, he's got his own little area here. Oh, what, you need to be fed? Let's see if that did something for you. No? Not really? Okay, guess I'm wasting my time. Oop, come on. Alright. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, feeding the dogs. Uh, so anyway, that's that. Over here, what is this? Server-wide storage facility. Hmm. So, this is a rather highly organized area for the storage of all sorts of stuff up to and including random cobblestone and dirt and sand and gravel and all that stuff. So it's actually a pretty well organized thing and uh, it was a pain to make all the uh, half blocks for it but I was able to do it. Over here we got someone dug into the uh, side of the mountain here. A little bit of a lake area. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right. And down here, this is a uh, mine shaft going all the way down. Uh, this mine shaft was actually not dug by Dark Knight 607. Uh, it was actually myself and a nephew of mine who actually we uh, got together on the server and we were doing some digging around. So this goes quite a ways down, and uh, you can see we hit a cave. Uh, there's some other cave systems and what have you. Yeah, I know the I know about that iron. Better grab it. <laughs> uh, what have you? So uh, this lets us back down into that cave area that was uh, explored earlier. 
but pretty much got sealed back up as far as what's directly underneath the uh, the castle area. Do do do. I miss water ladders. I really do. Okay. Moving along. So that's that. So on and so forth. Wait a minute. What's this thing? <laughs> yeah, the pond out here used to be a lot more natural. Uh, first, I turned it into a reflecting pool, and uh, yeah, Nether portal number one. It's not been lit yet, so haven't been to the Nether here on the server. Uh, but that's probably something that will happen at some point. Over here, we've got a tunnel. No, it's not the tunnel of love, but it's a tunnel. <laughs> uh, it goes up and around, and I'll just follow it for a little bit. It's really just pretty much a, uh, a safe path to a uh, another building in construction entirely. So let's go that way. Uh, this building was actually built up by uh, Dark Knight 607 pretty much all by himself. I didn't build it. He did. So it's a, it's a wooden structure, but, you know, what are you going to do? Ooh, yeah, uh, and he's got his head up in the clouds with this one. <laughs> so actually seeing this place is a bit of a pain. Unless you can manage to find a clear patch. Uh, so he's got a little bit of a tree farm up here. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty darn difficult for monsters to get up here. That said, you can see we've had uh, issues in the past. <laughs> And there's a ladder there, which goes down, goes out. You can see uh, exactly how high we are. Didn't take too long to get here. Thank you. And over here, you can go back around. Uh, if you actually look over that direction, you might be able to barely see it, but where my crosshairs are, uh, and also, if I look down on the map, I'm pointed straight at it, there's a little red dot down there. That is the lava. So that was the source of the forest fire that completely uh, obliterated all the trees in the area at one point. It's still there, and that was the source for the lava that I used to make the obsidian. I actually molded the, uh, I used obsidian molding in order to create the uh, portal down there rather than uh, trying to create the portal with a diamond pickaxe. We do have a shortage of diamond tools, uh, but, you know, that is what it is. We just really have to get down there and mine. Uh, it doesn't have much up here, I guess. Yeah. And, of course, the sun's getting ready to go down. I might want to beat feet. Because there is no bed up here. You'd think that would be a priority, and it was. There was a bed up here at one point, but, uh... Yeah, due to all the other difficulties going on, uh, Dark Knight 607 decided he wanted to relocate down to his, uh, lower base down there, closer to the spawn. And, uh, in the process, he brought all of his beds and all that other stuff with him. So, that is what that is. See if I can get out of here before it's nighttime. Ah, uh, I better rush. <laughs> get to my bed. <laughs> All right. Also, uh, this is of course the spawn area. This castle uh, made good use of the. Uh, the hatches in order to cover up uh, some of the entrances up the top. Uh, but you would actually spawn right in here, right in the middle, typically. And uh, then, because uh, you did not have op privileges, you'd beat on the door and the doors wouldn't open and you'd be stuck. So you, this is basically also 
not just a spawn area, not just a castle, it's also kind of a jail. You can see people underneath and they can see you, but you can't affect anything. Uh, so that also goes hand in hand with the uh, whitelist. And I don't think I'm going to be putting buttons out here, just for security reasons for the server. And, oh yes, delicious cake. And we got some mushroom stew and some other stuff. But it's bedtime. And that's basically where the uh, the server is now. So we've obviously done a little bit of uh, wandering about. Sit, you. And you. Uh, we've obviously done a little bit of wandering about and work. Uh, as far as the uh, four towers that are here on the spawn castle, obviously one of them is mine. That one's not occupied. This one belongs to Dark Knight 607. Gave it to him. And that one up there, this one used to be occupied by a little bit of a storage area before I had the uh, big storage facility out there built up. Uh, but now it's empty, so it turned it into an infinite water source. So it's the well, the castle well. So, that is what it is. Anyway, uh, that should finish out uh, my little tour here. I hope you enjoyed seeing what uh, we've got built up so far. I am hoping to do some more with pistons and uh, some other things, but uh, that will have to wait for a later day. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day, YouTube.